Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Firebase, the most awaited video for generating the SS token. Today I'm going to teach you like how to generate the SS token for sending the Firebase push notifications using PHP. So those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. So let's get started. So you can see that the latest Firebase, we don't have the server keys. If I go to my Firebase console, okay, so here we go with the details. So let me switch the account. Firebase project. So here we go with my notification cloud messaging. So here you can see that this cloud messaging API is disabled. Now we are going to use Firebase cloud messaging API v1 to generate the SS token and how we are going to send the push notifications using the PHP with the latest Firebase. So let's see. So please do comment below like uh, you have get this and this is working. So please make sure you have do the comments more comments give me more power to upload more content on my channel right so let's see how we are going to do that let me go to the first of all let me we have us we have to go with the token also right so i'm going to open my next year's project where i receive the firebase token so where it is next project n next JS. so i think firebase next let me check with this app yeah no Details. Yes, this is the project. Let me open this in the terminal. Switch to the NVM uh, use node 20. And uh, let's make a code open. Here we go. And let's run this npm run dev. This is done. And uh, let me open with this copy link and open with here so that we come to know about this is our token basically okay so whether it's to be android token ios token or the web token so this token we have to use right so let's dive into the php code level so first of all we have to require this create firebase.php into your any of your project so i'm going to go with my php so php is the Okay, we'll create a new folder which name is uh, Firebase test. Okay, so here I'm going to create a new file touch index.php. Okay, it's created. Let's open it. Okay, now we have to go with the uh, this code so let's add this code to generate the token so here we go with this one cannot find the php binary file okay fine so this i have to path for the service account i think i have pasted this in the python library so let me go and just go copy and paste with my python where is python and uh, where is my testing library key so I'm going to paste it in the PHP here in the Firebase test, paste it. Let's go to the file and uh, let me open this file with VS code. So it's very easy to uh, get the path. Okay, so index. So here I will just put it over here. Path to this one. Let me uh, copy or rename word wrap this make sure I think this directory so directly put over here what will happen You have to check that what exactly that eco directory is printing. Okay, fine. So first of all, we have to do with the composer. So composer, let's run this command. So 
so everything is sorted okay so let's try to run this php index.php what will happen so let's see so php warning fail to open the stream no such file where wwhtml php fire paste test index.php auto load on unable to open required vendor this one so this file is not coming up where is composer is installed so i think where is vendor folder is there right auto load so we have to check with the path if i just move this code with rename like push notifications dot php and move this for both one control x with this here just paste it and go back to one folder and run touch push notifications dot php i make sure that path will visible but nothing will happen we have printed require uh, let me just close this open from where we go with our push notifications dot php yeah this is the file okay so we have printed echo the sys token something went wrong with here no printing this one not this one let me open with the folder then checking just give me one minute i need to just cross verify one thing hello friends you can see that the token is there but uh, here i have successfully able to generate the ss token also so the previous library with the firebase crate is not working so i have installed another library for that one so make sure you have to install the same library with this one composer require google api client with all dependencies you have to install this package because previous one is not working with my current version and my current php version is 8.3 so that's the reason it is the not working so if i go with php my version here you can see it's 8.2 right so that to uh, create php by firebase it's not working okay so that's the reason i have chosen the different ones to install that one so you can see that i'm successfully able to retrieve the token so let's dive into the code level how i have done this one so it's very simple and very easy so credentials file path so this is your service account file so how to generate this so you have to go to your firebase project and here we have the service accounts right so here we go with the service accounts you ha here you have to generate the that service account file just keep loading just come up yeah so generate okay so here you can generate the new file and it will give you that json one okay so use that one okay this is done let's move over here so here we have a new google client set or config add the scopes okay and then client dot fetch ss token notification ss token you will get it expires in you get it and if something goes wrong it will go over here like error fetching the ss token right so here we go with all the details expire in uh, in the seconds right so we retrieve that one let's try to use this that this token is working or not to sending the push notification so let's copy this and uh, paste over the postman we have a new firebase url for sending the push notifications right so we are going to use that one so postman is open and this is the new url so this is the projects this is your project id how to get this project id so it's very easy and very simple go to the journal this is your project id copy paste add it over here and then in the headers we have authorization then bearer so make sure you have to make the bearer to be assessed token like this okay 
so this is done on the body we have required the token with this to be android ios whatever token it is so currently i have the web token so i'm going to use that one so this is the token i think e4 is there now yeah e4 is there the same token is there or now we are going to send the push notifications to this one so it should come over here like send you can see push notifications will come send here you can see the push notification will come okay so whenever I, you can see that project id with this notification done so to generate the cystic token to send the firebase push notifications using the php this is the best one okay if you liked it please like it and do the comment maximum comment you have to put okay to reach this video to the mass audience okay so thank you so much for watching this video and don't forget to like share and comment on my video have a nice day